first thing we do is you put the pallet down. The anchor hole is going to be towards the back. Make sure when you're putting in the anchors that you're using a 7 8 impact socket. You put the anchor in all the way down to the washer's flush with the bottom. The next step is you're going to bring the tent structure out and you're going to unfold it so that the back of the structure, the flap, is open and down. On each corner, you're going to put a zip tie through. You're going to go zip tie through the hole here in this corner. It's going to go around through the corner in the front of the pallet here, in these holes, and you're going to cinch it up tight. So you're going to go around and do that on all four corners. Then you're going to come in and bring your blocks in. Based on how many blocks you have, you have flaps that will fold out to kind of hold the blocks up. So you can do four blocks, or you can do three or two. You can even put some on the side, but here, so you see these flaps, you set the block on top of the flaps, you load your blocks in, then you put a bungee strap through the hole on the flap, it comes up and it goes all the way up and then over the top. Once the blocks are in, then you're gonna flip the lid over top. You're gonna make sure each of the walls comes through the slot in the roof. The longer bungee straps, and you're gonna stick it through the same hole that you ran that bungee, uh, the zip tie through. You're gonna come up and it's gonna hook through the bottom of that slot. Then if you want to put the trays in with the bees, there's two options. You can either lift the lid up and slide the tray through right here, or if you want to leave the lid down, you put it through the back strap and then the front strap and the bees will sit there. 